Hello, I'm Reverend Dr. Ross Riggs, a retired chief of police, and I've been in law enforcement or public service or military service since 1974. And I have seen many things in our country over those years. I must tell you that what's going on now in the name of George Floyd makes me heart sick. Not just because of what George Floyd appears to have been subjected to, and I say it that way simply because I know what the media has put out and I know what things are being seen in video form, but I also know that our constitution requires innocent until proven guilty. And I have no doubt that the officer or officers involved in that situation, if they are in fact guilty, they will suffer the full extent of the law. So the rioting and mayhem that is taking place in the name of George Floyd, when uh, probably many of the people doing the rioting don't even know who George Floyd is, nor care but they find a way to do evil, to do ranting and raving about something they see as society's problem in violence, but they fight the idea of violence with violence, with theft and assault, robbery. It makes no sense. I know thousands of police officers. I truly do. And those I know are there because they believe in what they do. They seek to make a difference. They care about their communities. They wouldn't take the risks and they certainly wouldn't put up with what they have to deal with if they didn't really believe in being peacemakers. Statistics show us that in 2018, the United States had approximately 686,665 police officers in sworn positions. Those just over half a million police officers made 10.3 million arrests in that same year. 10.3 million arrests. According to those same set of statistics, the police officers that were filed against in complaints against their actions, and this is not verified complaints, this is not uh, proven complaints, this is just the number of complaints against those 686,665 police officers was just at 10%. 10%. One article made a large issue out of the fact that uh, in 2,500 cases, officers had over 10 complaints against them. 2,500 out of 686,665 is 0.0036% had over 10 complaints against them. I'm not arguing on behalf of the officers involved with George Floyd. I don't know them. I don't know the facts. I only know what I've seen on the media. But I know the officers that I have worked with for decades, nearly half a century. And I know their hearts. And I know for a fact they deserve better than they are being given by the media, by the people taking to the streets. Those who have legitimate concerns, legitimate complaints, there are processes. And we have seen they're not always right, they're not always effective, but in the long term, they work much better than the violence and the, the robbery and the, the break-ins, the thefts, the civil disobedience, and it's not, in this case, often not very civil. That's not how America works. We are a nation of laws. We are a nation that has the ability for its people to come out and speak their grievances and to make changes in their system 
in legal ways, in ways that do not cause harm to people who had nothing to do with the problem. The store owners who are losing their livelihood because of the protesters, they're not the problem. So why are these people that are stealing from them taking out their angst against them? True, it's possible that many of these are there because it's orchestrated. They are there because they're paid to create civil disobedience. And sadly, there have been people who have lashed out on the other side against the protesters out of their own feelings of anger and frustration. I provided a set of statistics here for you to take a look at that involves the number of officers in the United States, 686,000 plus, the percentages of those who are non-white. White police officers, according to these statistics, make up only approximately 36% of the total police forces in the U.S. Now, statistics can be made to say anything you want them to say, but I do know for a fact there are many police officers of every color, every culture, every background in the United States wearing the badge and seeking to prevent crime and to preserve the peace. And they're not there because of the color of their skin or because of their racial background or their history or or anything like that. They're there because they truly do care and they deserve your respect. They deserve your support. And more than anything right now, they deserve and they need your prayers. My prayers are with each and every police officer working the street, even as I speak these words. And I can tell you that my son is one of those right now working the street, wearing the badge, facing whatever, because he cares. I'm Dr. Ross Riggs, retired chief of police. These are my thoughts. Thank you.